if you look at a map, then you'll see a lot of countries, and one of those countries is Canada. The second biggest country in the world, and home to 36 million people. Literally, PewDiePie has nearly as much subscribers, more than Canada. So that means there's not really that much cities. There's only, like, at least five really big cities because the population is only 35 million. And the biggest city has 9 million people living in it, I think. So, yeah. A lot of the land we have is mostly forest. It is mostly divided from English, French, and Native. So this is how Canada is divided. First, over here in Quebec and Ontario, this is where the most French people live. So this is where the French people are mostly. And then over here, we got the English-speaking part, mostly English, and no, no, like almost no French. Then we've got the Fisher side over here. And then we have the Eskimos. And then we have the Alaskan Eskimos, which I'll tell you in a second how the Alaskan Eskimos are really different. We should call them Yukon Eskimos, but they originated from Alaska, like they did. And I'll tell you about history in a second. So now let's talk about history. Canada got this divide because of a lot of history. The Eskimos came first from Siberia to Alaska. And then they moved on all the way over here. But the Yukon Eskimos have really different culture. And the Eskimos here have the most land and a lot of followers. Which is home to 14,000 people only. But in the world, there's like... Mm, there is some in Greenland too. And lots of um like all over the world. But not China. So, about the farm, the Fisher Zone, that was claimed by the English, but basically it was claimed by the French, and, well, it gets complicated, but I'm just going to say the Scottish, because call Nova Scotia, and Scotland tried to colonize it, and there's lots of Scots there. And this part, with the French tried to claim all the Great Lakes until Britain invaded, and then they lost their Canadian colonies. So basically, all of these colonies became all of Britain, and then formed Canada. And yeah, so it got disdivided because Canada became one single country. And then, yeah, so it got divided and all that. So if Canada got into, like, into collapse, then this is what it kind of looked like. But Ontario would kind of be with the English-speaking side, because there is more English than French, but this is almost fully French. But I, well, there's a lot of French schools in that area, in Ontario, so they wouldn't ban a French or anything, because I can speak French too. I'll say in the comments some French. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Um, yeah. As always, thanks for watching, and if you want more videos, suggest your ideas in the comments, and maybe subscribe, so I know how, how people like my content. So, suggest more ideas in the comments, because I am running out of ideas. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!